Hey YouTube, today I'll be doing that video that I um, spoke about in the DNS video that I previously did on how to um, actually find your best DNS um, servers for your uh, internet service. So um, obviously everyone lives in different locations, countries, has different ISPs, are connected to different exchanges, servers and whatnot. And they're all connected to a different type of internet connection. If it's, you know, fixed wired or if it's wireless, you know, satellite. So, um, people have noticed errors on game consoles um, where, you know, you might have a DNS server that your router will give to you by default. But then yet again, that DNS server doesn't work properly. It's not fast enough. And or you might have a, a modem router provided by your ISP and the DNS server doesn't work properly and it causes slow internet. So people have been wondering, how do I speed up my internet via changing my DNS? And there are a couple of easy ways. You can just use you know, a public DNS such as the three of these, Google DNS, Open DNS, and Ultra DNS. You can simply go into Google, type in Google, public DNS, open DNS, or ultra DNS, and literally a DNS server can pop up on your screen. You put it into your device, such as your Xbox, PS4, your computer, and that's it, your internet connection can be sped up. But they're not always gonna be, and a lot of the time aren't gonna be your fastest DNS server. So here is how to find the fastest DNS server for your internet service. This can work with anyone who has a Windows computer or a Mac computer. First of all, what you want to do is you want to download um, a uh, application called Namebench. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, the logo looks like this. It's a pretty weird looking emblem. It's called Namebench and that's the emblem. But when I download it and put it on my Windows, this is what it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like for me. Could be different for you guys, but it's just this weird symbol just there, icon just there. But um, anyway, this is the application itself. So once you open it up, you've installed it, you've opened it up, this is what you get. Now, by default, what's gonna happen is when you open it up, right here where it says name servers, you'll have the DNS servers that your device is currently using. Um, more than likely, you'll be you know, the default DNS server that your modem router or ISP gives you via your service. Um, or yeah, it'll just be, something will be here. First step, open the application and delete anything that's in this column just here. Second, make sure these two boxes are checked. Okay, and this one here. Then third, make sure these are matching what I've got. So make sure your location says none. Health check performance is fast and query data source is Google Chrome. Um, you can change it to these, but uh, the only actual source that it gives you that's a straight up source is Google Chrome. Um, and have your number of queries as um, 250, which is just a default, but I'm just making sure that you guys have it. So once you've done all that, what you should do is probably get like a Get a, um, a post-it pad and write down P for primary DNS or just write down primary DNS and secondary DNS or S for secondary DNS. Now, how you do this, it's going to take time. So it's going to take a long time. Like it might take half an hour to an hour for one test to finish. I know it takes a while, but this application really does go through every single DNS it can to, to, to give you the best connection. So step one, download the app. Step two, make sure name servers is clear out, nothing's here. Step three, make sure all the check boxes and everything here is just like I have on my screen. Step four, you wanna click start benchmark. Once you've done that, you wanna actually have to wait. You're gonna to have to wait for your, for your test to happen. It's gonna take a little while. I recommend changing the settings on your computer so that it doesn't go to sleep as that could interfere with the settings. Now, once your test is completed, 
this is what's gonna come up. A, whatever your default search browser is, so mine on this computer is uh, Explorer, this is gonna come up, a page just like this. It's not gonna have the same details, but it'll have the same um, like look out. So it will say here, your current primary DNS is the fastest. That's what my result is. So because I've already done mine, and I've already done all my tests and configured my computer, I've already got the best performance. So if I do another test, it's gonna keep telling me, you've got the best DNS. For you, it's not always gonna say that. Now, what you wanna do with your first test is you want to go up to here and you wanna to go to primary DNS. Once you go to primary DNS, you wanna write it down. So say for instance, yours is 10.0.0.138, just like mine. You wanna write down where it says secondary on your posted pad. You wanna write down the primary here, okay? The whole reason for that is, because then what we're gonna do is you're gonna click this, I won't click it again, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the test again. Make sure everything is here, so clear this out again. Tick what I've ticked and keep all these settings the same. And you wanna start benchmark again. Then once it's finished, that page will pop back up again. This one. And then you're gonna have different results, okay? So what you wanna do, sorry, actually, before you do the test, what you wanna do is you wanna actually assign the prior, the the you want you want to assign the primary and the secondary DNS from your first results into your device. So if it's your computer, or it's your laptop, or whatever, you want to put these details in. Then you want to run the test again, making sure that there's no servers here and that they're all ticked the same. Then once you do that, you get another result. It will be different. What you want to do is you want to then get the primary from the second result and then put it, put it on the notepad as primary. Now, the reason why this is the best is because your first test will give you the best results of your shit DNS, which will be the DNS that you're obviously looking to, to, to quicken up because obviously that's why you're in this video. Then you're gonna type in the result that it gives you, put it into your computer, and because it's assigned to your computer, that's what the DNS is gonna do. It's gonna actually like do a DNS test, and then it's gonna compare it to the current one that your device is using. And then since it's gonna, it will find one that's better because it always does. When it finds one that's better, that's gonna be even better than the one that you previously got, but then now that you've put those two as your best, I guarantee you, once you put those two as your best DNSs, everything else isn't gonna be as good because it's done your test. Now, 10.0.0.138 is actually my best. It's actually my default DNS. So therefore, I congratulate my ISP for actually giving me the best DNS. So, do what I'm doing. This is how to do it. If you're confused still, I'll put the steps in the link down below along with the link to the download for this application. <clears throat> um, I'll just do a quick speed test just to show you what results I'm getting. So I've got my best DNS logged in. So I get six milliseconds of ping. Um, I get 46, around 46, 47. Let's just say 47 megabits per second. Yep, 47 and a, and a and 0.49, so a little bit over, just under a half. And then upload speed, it's pretty inconsistent my upload speed. Should be 20, but it gets 10. I don't really use the upload speed much, but. And by the way, this is on Telstra's fiber to the node, VDSL, NBN connection in Western Sydney, Kellyville. So, and as the speed works now in, 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 within the NBN, 
We don't actually pay for a speed no more if you have fibers of the node. You just get what you're given, depending on how far you live from the exchange and how many people are online in your area. So that's my speed. For gaming, that ping is great. For downloading stuff, I reckon that's fine. And for obviously uploading videos and obviously sending pictures to people and uploading stuff and also online gaming. This is used for online gaming. I think 11 mega, megabits per second is just fine. Um, it does hit 20 sometimes, but obviously right now it's not. But um, yeah, so that's the connection that I'm getting. It's pretty good. So yep, name bench, that's how you use it. All good. Um, catch you next time. Yeah.